Welcome back to Movie Mo Show. Today we are going to review the action thriller film Below Zero. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We post multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. A wounded man is being chased through a wooded area at night and is eventually apprehended. The attacker buries the victim alive when he is unable to reveal the location of a missing girlfriend. Together with Officer Montesino, police officer Martin begins a new position that involves nighttime prisoner transport driving. During the transport, Montesino purposefully degrades a few of the convicts, but Martin steps in to stop any violence. Fog prevents the transport vehicle from seeing the escorting police car or maintaining radio communication with it while it is traveling. A spike strip in the road then quickly stops the cargo truck. Montesino leaves to look into it but never comes back. Following, Martin discovers the officers dead in the overturned police car and Montesino seemingly dead. Martin is being fired upon by a sniper, who is then shot in the leg. He returns to the transport van and finds safety in the jail cell area. One inmate manages to escape and tries to overwhelm Martin, but he fights back with his weapon. Martin is forced to unlock the cells to save the prisoners after gasoline is poured into two of them through the ventilation grills and lit ablaze, but one guy has already passed away. The released prisoner releases the other inmates, and an announcement that Martin's gun is actually empty and urging the inmates to flee is made over the intercom. Nano, a prisoner, however, kills another man by beating him to death and accusing him of planning the hijack. Nano gets the key from Martin. Miguel, the hijacker, has taken control of the transport truck and demands that everyone turn over Nano or he would kill them all. The key is subsequently fought for, but Nano eats it. While the others attempt to unlock the exit door, Martin is overwhelmed and imprisoned with Nano. One prisoner, Ramus, is recognized by Martin as a former bandmate from his wedding. While the inmates look for a way out, Miguel starts to drive the vehicle. Ray goes below the truck storage area and tries to pry open a panel in order to accomplish this. The vehicle is being pursued by Montesino, who has recovered after discovering Miguel's jeep that contained pictures of his missing daughter. After catching up to the truck and opening fire, Montesino is knocked off the road and killed in the accident. Ray perishes in the storage area as well after being pierced by a screw while the car was swerving. Nano is questioned by Martin about the circumstance, he professes ignorance but brings up a friend from his youth by the name of Chino. As he walks away, Miguel drives the truck onto a frozen lake and shoots the ice, causing it to sink. Ramus is persuaded to be released by Martin so that he can find a fire exit. Golem passes away from the cold, but Martin, Nano, and Ramus manage to flee. While Martin and Ramus separate, Nano flees. When Martin arrives in the next village, he hears gunfire. Martin confronts Miguel, who is shooting at Nano from a building. Miguel explains the reason behind his desire for retribution, he had permitted his small daughter to go to a fair with a friend. She was made intoxicated by Nano and Chino, the man being chased in the opening scene, who then raped her and tortured her till she passed away. Miguel tries to kill Nano, but Martin won't let him, so they fight over the shotgun. Martin takes charge, but Nano is pursued by Miguel. Martin steps in, shoots Nano in the foot and hand, and demands to know where Miguel's daughter is. Nino admits that he and Chico buried the woman in a farm well. A police rescue chopper approaches as he says this. In the climactic moment, Martin gathers his possessions from his locker at headquarters and exits the building, probably ending his career as a police officer as well. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.